Jen and DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a dumbbell 10 minute ripper for your back. So for this workout, we're going to be doing eight total exercises, and we're just going to do one set of all eight exercises. We're going to do 60 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and there are no extended breaks for this workout. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start that. Now our first exercise we're going into is going to be a reverse grip row on our left side. So grab our dumbbell, we just need one dumbbell. We're gonna get a split stance, right foot out front. From here, our palms are gonna be facing away from us. And then we're gonna row up to our hip and then come back down and repeat. Just need to get a full range of motion here, all the way up, all the way down. Here we go. When you get to the top, focus on getting that squeeze. Really try to feel it in the lat, this muscle out here. Here we go. Good controlled movements. There we go. Push it out. Let's go. Make sure to keep your back nice and straight the entire time. That's why we got our opposite hand is braced on the knee. So our back's nice and straight. We're not uh, worried about our lower back and we're able to really push it with the muscles that we're working. Oh. Hit that squeeze. Squeeze, there you go. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. We got a couple more. Let's get one more. After all, it is a ripper, right? So you got to tear it up. All right, we're just switching to the right side this time. So left foot's going to be forward. Left arm on the left knee. Here we go. Make sure to have that back nice and straight, palm facing away from you. You're driving the elbow up and back, pulling that dumbbell into the hip. Here we go. We're not, we're not like this. Back's nice and straight. Chest is out. Getting that squeeze. Coming all the way down. Pulling it up, getting the squeeze. Coming back down. Let's go. Focus on your back. Come on. Here we go. Push it out. Let's go. Burn it up. You gotta embrace the burn. 20 seconds. Let's go. Push it out. Keep going. We got 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. One more. Last one. Get a nice little hold and release. Whew, here we go. All right, next we got DB swing. So for DB swings, we're going to switch at the halfway point. Jen's going to let us know when. We're going to start with the, uh, with the left side. So we're just going to drop down a little bit and then swing it up. Here we go. So we drop down. That's with the hips and knees. We're not at the lower back like this coming up. We're dropping down, keeping the back nice and straight the entire time. Here we go. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. Push yourself. It's only a 10 minute workout. Almost time to switch. On the next one, we're going to switch. This one? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you can always set your dumbbell down. You don't have to do it in the air like DJ. <laughs> There's no turning back at that point. It's already in the air. Come on. Let's go. Thrust those hips. Get that weight moving. You can also add more squat into this one and the next one if you want to. That's true. Then they're always trying to find a way to get legs. Yep. More legs. <laughs> Let's get one more. Right. Here we go. All right, next we're going into clean pulls. So start with the left hand again. What we're going to do this time is we're going to drop down, explode up, and bring it up, come back down. Bruce, here we go. Bruce is trying to get out of here. Come on. There we go. 
If you want, you can actually bring it all the way up, let it rest, and then come back down. Or you can just do the clean pull where it comes up, and then there's really no full rotation there. Five seconds, and then we switch. All right, switch. Oh, I gotta put this one on the ground to switch. Yep. A little harder. There we go. Oh, push it out. Nice straight back. Again, we don't want to be bending like this. We're not doing that. Bending at the hips and knees, back straight, bringing it up. There we go. Come on. Let's get one more. There we go. Alright, next we're going into regular bent over rows. So for these rows, our palms are going to be facing us this time. We got one set on the left, one set on the right. Here we go. Come on. Again, brace your arm onto your knee. That way uh, you can support your lower back. Really focus on the movement instead. Get that squeeze. Get the top squeeze all the way down. All the way. Don't stop here and then come back. We want to fully extend, come back up. So full elongation of the muscle, full contraction. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Feel it more towards the spine or center of the back versus the reverse rows, which you're going to feel more on the outside. Come on. Let's go. Ah, last one. Ah, woo! Feel them. It's on fire. On fire. Yeah. All right, go on the right side. Here we go. Let's get ready. There we go. Remember, all the way down, all the way up. Get that squeeze. Keeping the back nice and straight. Let's go. Squeeze, squeeze, let's go, focus on the back, come on, let's go, push it out, halfway, come on, 30 seconds left, keep pushing, come on, embrace the burn, let's go, Oh, 15 seconds. Woo. Focus on the way your back will look. <laughs> Those open shirts. Think, think about the game. Think about how it looks so awesome. Come on. Let's get one more. Woo. Woo. That was brutal. Alright, we're going into W rays. We we'll have a whole lot of time to waste. I might use these other ones over here. Yeah. For W raise. Here we go. So W raise, arms down, bringing it up into a W. Coming back down. You don't need heavy weight, but we're just going to focus on trying to wear the muscle out. Here we go. Bring it up. You got to hold that there. There you go. Yep. Bring it up and squeeze. Your elbows aren't going to be way up here, and your arms down here aren't going to be way out here. Literally trying to make a W out of it. Here we go. Also, don't cheat them. Don't kind of lean forward and rock them. If you're having to do that, that means it's too heavy. Well, good controlled movements here. So we're bringing them up. Really getting that external rotation of the shoulders. So that's the up and back is external. There we go. Come on. Ten seconds left. Let's go. Let's get one more. There we go. What are you doing? We're going into good mornings. So this is our low back exercise right here. Legitimate. Focused. Yeah. Are you? Well. Too late. I'm just going to do this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend at the back here and then come back up. 
So we are bending at the back. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you want. And we're bending at the hips and the lower back. I'm going to go a little heavier on the next one. <laughs> oh. I was like, what are you doing? You're going to get heavier. <laughs> Slowly just scooting. You don't need heavy weight for this. Start out lighter and then every time you perform the workout, or like Jen, kind of step it up during the workout, as needed. Go slow and controlled, focusing on lifting with the lower back, not with the hamstrings here. So it's similar to an RDL, except our RDL, we're uh, keeping the back straight like this today. We're finally able to bend at the back. Here we go. Here we go. Last one here. There we go. 10 minute rip up is finished. Good stuff. Nice job. All right, if you like this workout, smash that like button. Boom! If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. See you guys.